So hopefully I made a big list over all these things and I divided them both in, I'm, I'm sorry, I divided them into two parts, the basic stuff and the elemental stuff. So the basic stuff is the common stuff, which is very, um, you know, essential for making chemical activities and all this. So firstly, hopefully hydrochloric acid, which is very required for doing chemical activities. And it is often called as the muriatic acid, which is uh, used for cleaning your restrooms and all that. It is used for cleaning purposes. And also sometimes it is, uh, you know, sold and it is sold in the form in a transparent bottle, which is uh, dyed in yellow in order to uh, differentiate this from water. Uh, probably kids do think that this may be water and they may burn their skin, burn their organs and all that. So this is how it looks like. And don't worry, this is not at all you know, corrosive pretty much. It's just because of its concentration. It's just off 20% here. And this is one thing here. And let's jump to the second one, which is the sodium hydroxide. And I did got the pellets of sodium hydroxide here. And you may be wondering where I got all this from. This is often called as light. And if it is available in your general stores, get this to your home. And if you can, then that's no problem. We can make it in our own home out of salt and water. I'm going to be making another video of that in the future video, okay? And the third one is sodium carbonate. You can obtain sodium carbonate from sodium bicarbonate, which is often called as the baking soda or the baking powder. And you can heat this out to get sodium carbonate. And if you're finding trouble in that, no problem. I am going to be making another video over this too. And this is really accessible in most of the bakery products and all that, okay? And for some potassium nitrate, uh, it is often called as the stump remover. And this is how it looks like. Some kind of white structures inside there. And mostly it is available in your general stores for actually it's used for some cleaning purposes. So most of it is available close by. And if you're finding uh, trouble in finding this, uh, I'm going to be saying a few properties, of, uh, two properties of this. So firstly, just when this get, gets dissolved in water, it becomes cool. It becomes really cool. And secondly, probably uh, the some dis and it is used in making explosives mostly, and and there's nothing to worry about this. It's not pretty dangerous in that way. And the fifth one, some hydrogen peroxide. Got some hydrogen peroxide. It is easily available in the medical stores and in the general stores too. It's pretty easy uh, to find this. There's no need to explain anything about this. Some vinegar, I mean, it is called as ethanoic acid, acetic acid, and all these names are given to a single compound or a single kind of liquid, which is uh, often available in your home as vinegar. It is used in cooking and all that. So now as we are done with this basic stuff, let's move to some elemental stuff here. So copper, firstly, some copper. You can obtain this copper from your wires here. Just when you pull off this plastic coating, you will be finding some brown structure in this called as the binding wire, which is often filled with a lot of copper and that. And also there may be more things in your home which uh, are rich in copper too. So secondly, some zinc, some zinc, I got zinc. I got zinc, manganese dioxide, MnO2, and carbon rod from a single, from a single thing. That is some zinc carbon batteries. The batteries which you often do use in your daily lives too. So this is the battery which I peeled off all that all the way down and found my way uh, with some zinc, it's um, manganese dioxide and carbon rod here. You can use carbon rod for electrolyzing, electrolysis and in those processes really. And also I did made a video about this too. Uh, probably I'm going to be giving that. I'm going to be giving that. Uh, link of that video down there in the description. Check that out. And some lithium too can be extracted out of batteries, out of coin batteries. Here we go. And it looks in this way. Actually, I extracted this both. And it is often, uh, it's often uh, called as the three volt batteries. Also called as the button cells too. And they're available in the local stores really. And also you can obtain some lithium from lithium ion batteries too. And, I, and the one which you find in that is called as lithium carbonate, Li2CO3. This is it. I got this from the lithium ion batteries. Uh, and lithium ion batteries are the batteries which you use, which you do often use in your mobile phones, your mobile devices.
this is it hopefully but this may be really dangerous and and also it contains some cobalt elements which are highly carcinogenic and I'll, i'm going to be making this video later and wait for that because it may cause troubles really and for some calcium stuff here and calcium is mostly available in some eggshells here and eggshells are made up of calcium carbonate calcium carbonate and you can use this calcium carbonate to turn this out to some other calcium elements some other calcium compounds like calcium hydroxide calcium oxide calcium sulfate too and there are still more uh, stuff uh, some stuff which is available in your home probably and that also includes some um, limestone which uh, sometimes some stones are available with a lot of limestone and they are given that name too some chalk powder some chalk powder and these are all these all do consist of calcium carbonate if possible i i will make a video over this how you can make elemental calcium through thermites thermites and extract calcium out of it some iron I to tell about this really some chlorine you can obtain some chlorine gas by reacting some potassium permanganate uh, with hydrochloric acid to get some chlorine and these both are the halogen gases you can extract you can make them by yourself and iodine is rich in betadine which you often do use uh, for some rashes sometimes you know some wounds and all that which it helps in healing all of them out so and I'll be making a video of this um, in the future. I'm sorry you may be thinking that uh, this guy is really, you know, making all the videos in the future. And don't think about this, please. I I'm going to be making the videos in the future, really. And wait for him, really. So you can obtain all your all this stuff at your home in an easy way, in a very, you know, easy way. You can get all these things at your home. And just when you get done with all them, uh, just slowly work your way up. Uh, reacting these them all uh, with some other compounds and getting your results out and hopefully you may uh, get a lot of results out of them both and all the best for if you're uh, doing working up your chemistry experiments and all that and hopefully you might have liked this video and don't worry these are all uh, these aren't the toxic elements and these, these ain't the you know uh, hazardous chemicals at all these are some kind of safe elements but Make sure to put on some gloves and open your doors and windows in order to keep you safe out of hazardous chemicals and, I'm sorry, the toxic gases sometimes, as chlorine is a toxic gas. Hydrogen chloride, just when you react something with hydrogen, I mean hydrochloric acid, it releases gases and all that. And subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this and check out the link which I'm going to be giving in the description uh, for that. And thanks for watching.